Hello everyone, this is Dipali and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about adding on change rules at the field level. If you happen to be new, please consider subscribing down below. Let's get started. I've already done the configuration and I would like to show how we can add on change rules. I will be adding an on change rule in the employee time object. This is the same object we used in the previous video to add the custom fields. My idea here is to just show you how we can add the on change rule. These variations could be depending upon your own scenario. So I'll go to configure object definition. Employee time. This is the object I have added the own change rule to. I'll also open another tab just to show the rule that I had created. So just coming down below on the date field, there is a rule called as default ET date. I'll open this business rule from the configure business rules tool. So let's see what does this rule do. So this rule is being created on the employee time object and it sets the date field on which this rule is assigned to today's date plus one. You can add the number of months and days as well. This is just an example to show you how it works. So I've used a date plus function here and the function date plus will add one day to today's date. So it will read today's date and will add one day to it. If you want this to be changed, can edit it and make it as one month or whatever is needed as per the requirement. For now, I'll just keep it as one day and see how it works. So this rule is being assigned to the date field in the rule section. So I, I just edited it to show the same. Now let's also create the rule trace to see how it triggers. I'll go to manage data, rule trace. I've already created the trace by providing all these details. And if I just click on the log, download and see what it holds, it's a blank file. I'll just close this. And now I'll go to the employee for whom I would like to test this field. So this is my same test employee. Go to leave in attendance. Administer time. I'll try to create a new absence. Say maybe just for 10 minutes on 14th of April. Okay, if you see here, I have this date field, which does not do anything. And I can still submit this record without actually that rule being triggered. If I go to the record for 14th of April and check this field, nothing actually happened. If I go to manage data, and check the rule trace. I can see that the rule did not trigger because there is no trace at all. I click on edit. I'll edit the same record and try to provide some value to this field, say 1st of April. So if you see, I'm giving 1st of April and this field is getting changed to 17th of April. So again, so this is the second time I will be giving, say, 2nd of April. 
So the value stays in there and then it changes to 17th of April. Why? The reason behind this is the rule is triggering. So if I go to manage data and try to download the logs, I can see that my log file has some details. The first column shows the date and time on which the rule triggered. The rule ID tells me what rules got triggered and this will record all the actions that will actually trigger this rule because my rule trace is based on this particular rule. So these are the different steps of the trace. So it says begin so execute rule the rule name with effective date and the base object and the parameters so we have all the details it says processing if and my if condition is always true it will go to the second section which is trying to evaluate what date to default so it says call function today with parameters which so tries to find out today's date and then the function is date plus and what it has to plus it has to plus one so this date plus function takes in these parameters that is today's date and then which is the base date which i had given us today in the rule and then the number of months and the number of days to be added here so it says zero months and one day to be added and the final result it shows the 17th of april and which then sets to this particular date field Right. And in my second uh, scenario or in my second step, I had given 2nd of April and which again defaulted to 17th of April. So you can see this, that there is another begin section, begin block and then begin. So this is my second set of actions that I did on the UI, which actually made this rule to trigger. So all the execution steps here are triggered again. So this is how we can create the on change rules. So the idea here was just to show you how we can configure things in the system. Rules can be very complicated and lengthy as well. And it all depends upon what scenario you are trying to implement. This was just a basic one to give you a hands on so that you can move around in the system and make your own way. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful for you. Maybe you can also check my other videos and do comments in the comment section if you are looking for any specific video in the Employee Central area. See you soon in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.